everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Courtney if you're new here. In today's look, I'm going to be doing this look that is basically one product for the eyes, cheeks, and lips. I added in a couple of little things for highlight and things like that. If you'd like to see how I created this look, please continue to watch, like, and subscribe, and let's get started. Okay, so I'm using a Prados brush. I like this brush because it's firm enough, but it still has a little bit of fluff to it and it tapers so it really gets into like all those little areas that you want like under the eye. I'm going in with this color right here. This is from the Danessa Myricks Vivid Palette. I get my glasses. It's called Mango. I can't see anything close up anymore. I'm going in with the side of the brush and I'm just gonna throw that under here and just go back and forth. And you wanna elongate it, but you don't want it to go too far up because you want it to kind of tilt down a little bit at the end. So now with the flat part of the brush, dip back into there, and you're gonna throw that all over the lid. Make sure to get it really close to the lash line. And you can start to make that shape. So it goes up and then it starts to head down to that outer corner see it kind of like tilts down a little bit not too much i usually have like a, a piece of a t-shirt that i ripped up next to me just so i can kind of take the excess off you can use that same brush and i'm just going to buff that hard line very very gently because it's a cream product it is waterproof once it sets and then just with my fingertip, I usually buff it a little bit more. You want it to go pretty high over your crease and fade not all the way up to the brow, but up to the brow bone. And that's it, one product. Using that same product, I'm gonna go in, this is a 188 brush from MAC. I'm just gonna gently touch it because the product is so pigmented, you don't need a lot of it, but I'm also gonna use this for my cheek color. And that I'll just apply right to the apple of the cheek. I keep it a little bit higher because I want, it, it'll trick the eye into thinking that your cheekbones are a little bit higher. And then same color, that same brush that I used for the eye, you can clean it in between if you're concerned about like bacteria transfer. But I'm also gonna use this color for the lips. I already have my lips tattooed. That's why it looks like I have a lip pencil on. Let me just throw that on. I like using a larger brush rather than a more precision brush for applying the lip color because I don't want it to have a perfect lip line. I want it to be a little bit more diffused. So apply the color mainly on like the bulk of the lip and then with what's left, I just run it gently along that lip line. I'll still go a little bit outside of the lip line just to create a slightly fuller look. Get anything that's a little too blurred or it gets a little too messy, you can go, just go in and clean that up with a Q-tip. For the highlight, I'm going to use, this is by About Face Beauty, Light Lock Highlight Fluid, and this is gold. It comes with a dropper, but I find it's probably good if you're covering more area, so it's probably lovely on the, on the chest, um, but since I'm just using it for my highlight, I'm just going to go work off of the side of it. Just take a little bit with my fingertip. And then just add that as my highlight. This is really beautiful. It goes on pretty sheer, but you can build up the color so you can get a really beautiful like foil look that catches the light really nicely. You can throw a little bit on the inner corner there, throw a little bit on the tip of the nose, down the bridge, a little on the chin. You can throw a little bit under the brow. It looks really nice as well. Finish off the look, I'm gonna use Drama Bomb by Wilma Beauty for my mascara. I already have a little bit of mascara on, but I really just love this as a re-wetting mascara. It builds so nicely on itself. Top and bottom. 
If you find that if you don't use a primer or anything like that, like myself, if you're just going on uh, this raw skin, sometimes it'll take a little bit longer for the product to dry. So you can always go in with a transparent powder and a large powder brush. This powder is transparent by Laura Mercier. This brush is by Prados Beauty too. I put a little bit into the cap, push it into the brush, and then I'll push it in a little bit more onto like my hand. And then you can go and usually take care of the shine down the center of the face. And then just a little bit goes right on top of the color. Since it's transparent, you're not going to dilute the color too much. So, but that'll prevent it from creasing and it stays a little bit longer. So that's pretty much it. Just one product for eyes, uh, cheeks and lips. Uh, added a little bit of the highlighter in, a little bit of mascara. Takes no time at all. You can apply it with your fingertips or some of your favorite brushes. Uh, but I find it to be a really dynamic look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I list all of the products in the description box below. If you've tried this look, if you like this look, please comment. I love to read the comments. Um, and if you have any tutorials that you'd like to see from me, leave that in the comments area as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you next. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.